A team of scientists has developed an interactive online database of genes and proteins that make up the human immune system. It's called EPIC, which is short for Extended Polydimensional Immunome Characterization. Researchers worldwide can use it to understand why individuals respond differently to viruses, therapies, and vaccines. And for more, we're joined by Professor Salvatore Albani from the Singh Health Duke NUS Transla Translational Immunology Institute. Thank you very much, Professor, for joining us this evening. What, first up, what do you hope to achieve with this database? Good evening, and thank you for having me here. Uh, what uh, we will be doing, uh, hopefully as a worldwide effort uh, centered in Singapore, will be to understand how the immune system uh, organizes itself in health and how diseases or therapies change the way it is organized, the architecture. So we will be able to I'm understand that how the immune system... Yeah, go on, please. Yeah, apologies, Professor. And who, explain a bit further and then do tell us yes. uh, who the people that will be using EPIC are and how it actually works. So it is an artificial intelligence powered database where data come from uh, initially Singapore and Asia and now from worldwide. Scientists can access it on the web through a portal which we have created and they can interrogate the database both uh, in health and in diseases. So for instance, if we see a pattern which uh, can predict the responsiveness to a virus, uh, we can uh, use that knowledge to develop a vaccine or to improve therapy, as an example. So why is EPIC seen as a breakthrough then? It is the first tool worldwide which uh, is uh, homogeneous. It is done uh, in the same center using the same uh, high dimensionality technology. And uh, it has uh, unique tools uh, which are artificially intelligent powered and is available to uh, the entire world, to the entire community. And actually is uh, an opportunity for the entire community of science to work together. What we hope is that there will be data added from the community worldwide. And help us understand then how this fits in with precision medicine. If you understand precisely how a system like the immune system works, you can characterize patients and not by the way they look outside to the doctor, but the way they are, the way the immune system is organized and understand where the actual problem is. This means that you, you can uh, tailor therapies to individuals or to groups of individuals who are the same with precision is the future of medicine. So, Professor, saying that with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, can EPIC be used by scientists to come up with a vaccine against this new coronavirus or perhaps maybe an effective therapy as well? Thanks to the support of Duke and US and SingHealth and the entire community worldwide, we're actually using already EPIC specifically for this. We're getting samples from Singapore and from Italy, the two extremes of lethality, and we are studying them using our tool. This will be able, hopefully, to help identifying a vaccine as well, in addition to understanding why so many people died in Italy and thankfully so few in Singapore. And how has the global scientific community responded to EPIC so far? From what you've told us, it sounds like the applications are endless. Uh, the applications uh, are many, and uh, I can look at the metrics. It has been uh, published uh, uh, two weeks ago in a very high prestigious journal, and right now is the 91 percentile worldwide for all papers, meaning uh, that is in the top 10% of uh, scientists reading uh, papers worldwide. This means only that there is interest. I'm not saying that uh, uh, any more than that. Uh, it's very early. Well, indeed. Thank you so much, Professor, for speaking to us this evening. We've been speaking with Professor Salvatore Albani from Singh Health Duke NUS.